Hey, back with another mid-journey website build out. Today we'll build this animated scrolling website. In the last episode, we generated this Figma design. So you can actually export layouts from Figma as JSON. So we're gonna go through section by section and export these separate areas as JSON and just paste them into a JSON file that will load within our JavaScript. Then we're just gonna set up a simple HTML document. Next, I'm gonna call a method that takes a few parameters like the path to the JSON, an index, the selector for the parent, and a callback method. Then we're just gonna go through and populate the method by accessing the parent from the selector and then fetching the JSON file. Then we're just gonna iterate over the children within that section. For now, we're just gonna add some placeholder divs that are blue to make sure everything is working. Next, we'll iterate over the child fill types to make sure that it has an image fill. And then we'll just insert the image instead of a div. We can reference the image by its layer name. Then we're just going to do some calculations to get the percentages of the X and Y position within the section and the percentage of its width so we can make this responsive. Then we just set a minimum width so it doesn't get too small and remove the sizing that we had set in CSS. Then we just do the same thing for all the other sections. Then we can just copy and paste the CSS for the backgrounds from Figma. And same thing for the circles. So we're going to use background attachment fixed for this candy background effect on the right so that it'll kind of stay static as we scroll down the page. So now we're just gonna ask ChatGPT to give us some code that will use the GSAP GreenSocket animation platform to animate items away from the center of the page as we scroll. Then we can just paste that in our JavaScript as our callback for when all our items are completed loading.
So this is what it gave us out of the box. Kind of interesting, but not really what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go in and tweak the code a bit. So I'm just going to do some calculation here and determine the X animation direction based on its distance from center. And then we're just going to animate everything up. Then we have something like this, which looks pretty good. So now we can just use the same approach for all the other sections. And we get something like this. So I have all the source code available below for you to check out.